Heard so much in recent weeks about how our seemingly private digital lives, well, aren't so private after all. Well, a cyber watchdog group says that one of the targets now is our children. The Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowles says our kids may be using apps that are very busy behind the scenes. Dana. I know. Nobody wants to hear that. Here's the headline, folks. Popular Android apps used by children share personally identifiable information with advertisers. This means marketers are tracking them from childhood through adulthood. And by track them, I mean track their locations. Wow. With that information, they can determine a child's likely socioeconomic situation, which then gives them an idea about their health risks. That's a lot of information. Now, buried in this paper here by the International Computer Science Institute, the study reports that free Android apps, free Android apps, very popular with children, collect this data, even though the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act says you can't do that. The study says one app developer is most prominent, Tiny Lab. The report says 81 of the company's 82 apps share GPS information with advertisers. Here are the three very popular apps by Tiny Lab: Fun Kid Racing, Motocross Kids Winter Sports, and Fun Kid Racing Motocross. Now, I reached out for comment, but they hadn't got back to me by airtime. But online, we found a statement from them that says, in no uncertain terms, they have not violated the law and seem to question the study. They write that they plan a public remark very soon. I'll have a link to their online remark on our online version at fox5atlanta.com and you can read it there yourself. Wow, this is pretty startling. Yeah, I mean yeah. there's a law in place so let's hope there's a misunderstanding and they get back to us and say misunderstanding. Here. Sure, sure. Yeah, we know about what's happening with, you know, adults information, Facebook and, and all of that, but you, you don't want to think about kids. No, the law on this, like this says that before personal information can be collected on your children, we're talking 13 and under, the app developer has to get verifiable consent from parents. That's the law. Mm. So we're going to keep our eye on it and see if the FTC has something to say about it, too. Yeah, please do. I think you got a lot of parents' attention this morning. Yeah, I, you know, those free apps. <laughs> I, I know. Don't get me started. Uh -oh. I, my kid said to me yesterday, oh, I took a quiz. I'm a whatever personality. I'm like, oh, you're geez. eight. Where are you taking this quiz? <laughs> I can tell you what your personality Yikes. is. Yikes. You don't need the computer. Oh, but gosh. There we go. All right, Dana, thank you.